A few weeks ago, we started our extensive kitchen renovation. We took out our broken temporary kitchen island, removed the floor with the fake terracotta tiles, and now it's time to address one of the main problems in the existing kitchen, the chimney, which unfortunately is so low that an average sized adult would not be able to access a hop underneath without hitting their head on a beam. I was always hesitant whether it would be possible to raise this beam, knowing there are tons of bricks of a 14 meter high chimney sitting on top of it. But David, our mason, said it wouldn't be any problem, or more precisely and reassuringly in French, normalement ça devrait aller. Donc c'est quoi le mélange que vous utilisez Donc pour les briques c'est toujours mieux utiliser à chaud par rapport au ciment. beam that will support the chimney structure and it's very heavy I never realized how heavy these beams are favorite trait, especially if I don't have to do it. Do you mind explaining what happened, Anna? Um, yeah, I think so. I think I can explain. So they took off the old beam. Was there a beam there? A small beam. Okay, so they ripped off the old small beam and the top of the chimney and they broke down some of the brickwork and then they rebuilt a bit of the brickwork and then they propped up the the what is that called? Um, you know. Uh, Thank you. I think it was really clear. Beam. Iron beam. Anyway, they put this, and then they had the props, and then they built up the brick underneath it. And then tomorrow, once it's all dry, they can remove the these props and the the support and then they can fill in those little gaps. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think it seemed like I knew what I was talking about? Well, you look really professional because you have a light here under your, your jumper. That's my mic. So whatever you say, it sounds right and expertish. explanation and the example of our extremely talented masons, you just learned the essential steps of lifting a chimney beam or breaking down any supporting wall for that matter. And if you like me have this desire to increase your knowledge about the wall that surrounds us, then I have good news for you. 
For this week's video, we teamed up with an amazing sponsor called Wondrium. Wondrium is a carefully curated collection of short and long form videos, tutorials, how to's, travel logs, and documentaries. They are all very well researched, presented in an entertaining way. It's just a very cool place for curious minds to wonder about the wonders of this world, as the very cleverly chosen name suggests. One of my favorite programs right now on Wonderium is called 1066, the year that changed everything. And Anna and I, we are binge watching it right now and it provides us so much background information about the history of our chateau and helps us to locate its history and the history of the people who lived in it within the greater history of England and Normandy. We'll travel all over England and Normandy. That's us. And we'll take some detours to Scandinavia. The story of the Norman conquest is a story of both resistance and reconciliation. Which coincidentally is also the history of my marriage. However, if you are somebody who likes documentaries, who likes programs that extend your knowledge, that make your brain work, you're gonna love Wondrium. But find it out by yourself. Go to wondrium.com slash chateau. I'm gonna put the link in the description so you're only one click away from an absolute free trial. I'm waiting. Oh, you clicked. Thank you. What we need to avoid is this situation here. This door is open, you come in, dust is really bad. This, this, this is a nightmare. This you know, is a door, but that's, That doesn't work. That's not a functioning <laughs> layout. In order to improve the door situation without sacrificing the original cupboard, we decided to move the door slightly to the right, just enough to be able to open the cupboard without hitting the entrance door. Outside, in the meantime, Jerome the farmer and his men are still busy cutting down the storm-damaged and rotten trees and turning them into firewood, which feels like we're massacring our woodlands. But, thank goodness, our magnolia tree has only suffered minor injuries on one side. It's really loud here because everybody's cutting trees and I need to sort out this magnolia tree who suffered quite a bit when the storm hit. And you see these branches, they are broken. Then I'm gonna cut them back into shape as professionally as possible with some instructions from a gardener. What do you think? I think it looks better. It is sad. It was a bigger magnolia tree, now it's a slightly smaller magnolia tree. But at least it has an acceptable shape again. And let's see how it evolves over the year. I hope for the best. Sorry magnolia tree, but it wasn't my fault. It was him. So much is going on, it's exciting, but it's also a little bit frightening because it just reminds me three years ago when everything started. But we still have two months before our guests come. So that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, I just realized I am wearing my new jacket that I got for Christmas and my new jeans. And that's gonna find out. And it's not gonna be fun. Sugar. How's it going, Claire? It's good. <laughs> We're so close. I oh, see so you've mulched all the hedges. Yeah. Amazing. We made an executive decision. Okay. We're going to retire after we do this. That's a good plan. <laughs> you guys have worked so hard and you managed to take out all of the laurel hedges yeah. before lunch. Which was intense. It was harder than it appeared when you talked yeah. about it. <laughs> no, you did an amazing job. So you definitely deserve to have a break. advantage of our talented masons to repair the crumbling lower part of the kitchen walls. 
They use a mix of sand and lime as a plaster, which allows the walls to breathe. This is just a rough finish as we plan to add wood panelling later. Anna, you called me? Yeah, I just wanted to know, is Alexi coming today? Why? Just because you said he might be coming? I yeah. just wanted to double check. Yeah, he's, he's coming. Still coming. He's coming. Okay. Cool. Let me know when he's here, okay? No, he, why? Because I need to go and say hi and give him a coffee. You didn't give me a coffee today. No, you got your own. <laughs> oh, I see you're making delicious lunch again. Well, we'll see. That's the plan. Is it true that Alexi's coming today? Yeah, he's coming today. Who told you that? Well, it's a rumor. Oh, hey. Hey, Philip. Hey, hey Claire. Um, just a quick question. Sure. Really off the top of my head, super random. Um, when is Alexi coming today? Philip, is it true that Alexi is coming today? Yeah. Um, do I have time to get changed before he does? It's not going to be necessary. It's true that he's single, isn't he? Yeah, but why? You, you are not. No, no, I'm just asking for a friend. That's it. Dig? Yeah. Sorry, do you have a moment? Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to scare you, but Annie just asked me if Alexi is coming in, in a weird way. Hmm. I, I thought you should know. So Alexi is coming? Yeah. Is it, is it true he's single? Oh, come on. Alexi just arrived. I'm happy he's here. He's very good at, you know, what he's doing. Plasterboards. By the way, this is his car. Can you see it? It's not as nice as my car, but that's normal. He's much younger than me and less experienced. I need to give him some instructions anyway. Très content de te revoir. Moi aussi. Et tu as déjà commencé, j'ai vu. Oui, c'est un peu, c'est un peu compliqué là. Pourquoi? Parce que du coup, j'ai dû percer plusieurs fois dans le plafond okay. pour retrouver les, le bois. Le bois, en gros, c'est comme une, on va dire une charpente. Oui. T'as pas pris un peu de poids euh, dernièrement Ah non, c'est que du muscle moi. Ah d'accord. Une fois que j'ai retrouvé les bois, je dois faire des, des coups de cordeau sur, sur le plafond. Oui. Pour ensuite mettre mmh. euh, piton, Pardon. difficulté, oui. cavalier, quoi. Comme on peut voir euh, actuellement. Voilà. Comme je t'avais euh, suggéré de faire. Tu hein. m'as appris, j'ai fait tout comme tu m'as appris. Tout ça, ça vient de Philippe, il m'a tout appris. Oui. <rire> c'est gentil que tu parce que tu vois, il y a des gens parfois qui, qui écoutent ce que je dis après. Euh... Ils font semblant que c'est... Je, je fais tout comme Philippe parce que c'est le meilleur. Écoute, c'était super clair, je te remercie. Donc voilà, si vous avez besoin de conseils, appelez-moi. Mais j'ai beaucoup de boulot. Ouais. Hey Hey Wow, look at this Looks great Yeah, but to be fair, Alexi helped me a bit. What do you mean You were working on your computer all day I'm doing the hard work here, putting these old poop pipes out. And he had the joyful task to put a race on the ceiling. And he gets all the credit. I'm happy he's here because we are hiding all those wires and mess that you made. No, he did a really good job, I must say. Yeah. I don't like saying it, but he did a really good job. And he will finish tomorrow. So that's why it is 6.30 at night and you've come in here to start work. Yeah, it's a, and really to get rid of because he can't get his plasterboard to the to the edge if, if there's still some old pipes sticking down. So. Okay, so you got to get rid of these, and what else have we got to do? The electrics, put all the electrical cables for the light fittings. Nothing like a bit of last minute DIY late at night. No, I, I like it. That's your style. That's my style. I never <laughs> stop. I'm in a bit of a precarious uh, balance here. Oh no, it's broken. Was it not meant to break? Wasn't that the point? Can you hold it, Anna, darling? Uh, Do you know what this is? Uh, a poo pipe? Yes. Really careful, Philip. Do you think these are strong enough to hold me? Uh, don't hold on to them, I wouldn't. No, I think they are. Yeah? Ah! Did you do it? I got it. Just with pure brute strength. If you edit it right, it looks like you just, you know, pulled it off single-handed. That's a good idea. 
I don't need uh, Alexis precision tool anymore. Okay. It's fun, it's meant for metal, but I just cut plastic with it and it works really well. I think I messed up his blades here. He's not gonna, I'm not gonna tell him I did it. Ooh, that looks good. He's so good at his job, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's good at plasterboards. He's almost finished. You're happy he's almost finished? No, I didn't say that. It's just that he's almost finished. What do you think, Philip? I think it looks great. Yeah, but there's some minor, you know, problems, probably. Like what? Here. There's several screws, I think, and they're not perfectly aligned, which isn't a big problem, but worth noting. Are you jealous? No, I'm not jealous. It's just I, I cooked lunch for the volunteers, and, and now they're eating sandwiches with Alexi, and I don't understand why. Alexi, tu as terminé. Mais c'était bien préparé de ma part aussi. C'est ça, tellement bien préparé que Philippe n'a même pas eu le temps de finir sa plomberie. <rire> que voilà, voilà, ça, ça fait pas propre, ça fait pas fini. Et c'est ma faute. Oui, parce que t'as pas, t'as pas travaillé, t'as pas anticipé. C'est bon. une excuse. En... Mais bon, c'est déjà pas mal. Il a passé trois gaines. C'est pas mal, on va dire. Oui, mais c'était les trois gaines essentielles. Voilà, si tu veux filmer du bon boulot, tu peux y aller. Tu veux dire là Ah non, là c'est tes plaques, elle, ça c'est un défaut de... Tiens, je vais expliquer, il faut l'enlever parce que sinon quand on fait les bandes, ça cloque. Ok, ouais, non, il est magnifique, regardez, regardez ce magnifique plafond. Là j'aurai le temps de, de faire le dernier branchement en plomberie. Voilà, c'est ça. C'est important, hein c'est important de faire tout dans le bon ordre. C'est ce qu'on apprend sur le chantier ici, et tout est fait dans le bon ordre. Ah bah toujours, hein. oui. c'est comme avec les femmes. C'était très élégant ce que tu viens de dire. Et maintenant, je comprends pourquoi tu as autant de succès avec les filles. C'est mérité. Hein. Ouais. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind-the-scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.